Salutations and welcome to the farm. I've got my coffee and it is time for day two of our 30 questions, 30 days. So I was challenged by Marino's Mysteries to answer some questions so you can get to know me a little bit better and know how this noggin works. So today is question two and the question is, do I think that fish feel thirst? Hmm, that is an interesting question. And you know, it kind of plays into what I almost spoke about yesterday in our question number one about really strange facts. If you didn't see that video, go back and watch that one because I talk about something interesting, but I almost kind of almost addressed this question yesterday because I was going to talk about sea cucumbers in yesterday's video because sea cucumbers, even though they're not a fish, they're an invertebrate, they actually, their mouth is their butt. I mean, let's just be honest. Their mouth is their butt. Where they poop from, they also draw in nutrients and water. So in a way they're thirsty, so they, they draw water in, but then they poop out the same way. If you've never seen a cucumber, they're really strange. I will admit, I've kissed one. Did I kiss the right end? I don't know, but I did it for my students. So it was worth it, but boy did they get a giggle out of it when they found out that a sea cumber's mouth was its butt, so I don't know what I kissed. Anyways, I digress. Let's talk about fish. I think there has to be something to this. Does a fish feel thirst? Well, I had an uncle growing up, and my aunt always used to say that he used to drink like a fish. Now as a child, I didn't understand what that meant, but looking back at it now, it must mean that fish get thirsty and they drink because my uncle drunk like a fish. I also had an uncle that was a horse's ass. I'm gonna to have to look into that. I had another uncle that was a black sheep. I don't know. Anyways, do fish feel thirst? I think fish feel many, many, many things that sometimes we acknowledge but overlook. I think they feel things that we don't give them credit for. We know that they obviously feel hunger. They obviously feel pain. They obviously feel fear. I think they must feel joy. I mean, have you ever seen flying fish? How they fly out of the water? Not dolphins, dolphins are not fish, they're mammals. Have you seen how they fly out of the water? They must feel joy, they must feel happiness. They obviously feel a sense of, um, they feel instinctive drives to continue on their generation after generation and generation. But do they feel thirst? I think they must, but not in the same way that you and I feel thirst. I think they feel thirst in a sense of they have to keep everything hydrated, just like we have to keep our throat hydrated with thirst. If you see a fish out of water and they're gasping, not only are they not getting the oxygenated water, but everything's drying out and they must feel that thirst. I think I would compare it to if we were in a room that had become stagnant, we depend on our air. And if a room becomes stagnant, we really like to go out and we feel so much exuberance and relief when we get a breath of fresh air. I think maybe fish feel that way too. I think if they're in stagnant waters or a place that maybe is a little overcrowded, I wonder if they just break away a little bit and get some of that fresh water and it quenches their thirst for that rejuvenation. I think that might be how fish actually feel thirst. Isn't it funny to think that they would feel thirst when they're sitting in water all day? Fishy fishies must feel thirst. So that's my question and answer of the day, my dear friends. I hope you will join me. I'm going to do this again probably on Monday. I'm going to take the weekend off and spend the weekend with my hubby. So I will see you on Monday and we will answer question number three. What is it? I don't know. I haven't even looked at it yet. I don't look at the questions until the morning I'm going to make the take. Until then, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a blessed day and have a safe weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.